think quite a few of us at Blast Process are big fans of sort of 2D shooters. So when we saw Mighty Tactical Shooter, we had to check it out. Johnny, you're from Sock Fuggery. Yep. Thank you for talking to us. That's okay. Can you take uh, tell us a little bit about your game? Well, it's a uh, well, as you can tell, it's a uh, 80s styled retro side scrolling shoot 'em up, but it's turn based. Yeah, that, that kind of threw me off as well. You know, you have to sort of choose where your ship's going to go and sort of where you're going to aim your weapons and stuff. It's very, it's very good, though. Was there a particular game that inspired you? or? Uh, well, I mean, the, the thing it gets compared to most is um, R-Type Tactics, which uh, I haven't actually played because it, when it was originally released, they didn't release it in Europe. Um, but the idea of a, a turn-based shmup sort of stayed in my head. Uh, but when I, when I did the prototype for this, I found the the free-flowing move where you could choose how far you move and that's you know how far the enemies move as well that worked really well rather than being a, a more rigid turn-based system a free-flowing one just it just felt good so i had to make it i mean I, when, when i came to play it for how you know how is it how's this going to work you know is it going to and it, it was very good i mean a very challenging did you did you purposely make it that hard um i didn't intentionally make in fact i didn't make the tutorial I thought I hadn't made the tutorial that hard, but of course I've been working on it for months and months and months, and it turns out that most people can't even get through the tutorial. So uh, I've dialed down the difficulty a bit, but I think I need to dial it down a bit more. I mean, I, I did get to the boss, but I think you may have helped me along the way, possibly. I think I may have seen a few button presses. Um, have you got an ETA on the, the finished product? Well, uh, hopefully uh, this year, but it depends on uh, whether we get funding from Kickstarter or I carry on working on it part-time. So uh, if I carry on working on it part-time, probably there's maybe a year. Um, but if the Kickstarter works out, which we're going to hopefully is going to be this month, depends on Kickstarter approval times, which can yeah. always be a, a bit hit or miss. Um, and if we can get the enough money for that, I can concentrate on it for three or four months and get it done, which would be, which would be lovely. I'd love to. I'd love to get it finished. Fantastic. Well, I'll definitely be uh, having a go as soon as it's, uh, it's finished, and hopefully I'll be able to get past that, that tutorial level. But thank you very much for talking to us. Right, uh, SNES. Why the SNES? Uh, Super Mario Kart. Simple. As simple as that. Mario Kart, there you go. We've had quite a few Mega Drive people today, so it's good to have another SNES. Thank you very much.